and welcome to Patriot TV. I'm Katie, filming from my dining room. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, so today I'm Addie Evans and I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy lunch for your 30-minute lunch during school. I'm going to show you how to make a special kind of sandwich. So, to start, you're just going to cut it not halfway through the half line. Make sure to be careful with a knife, and then you have it like this. Um, for my in my sandwich, I have mayo tomato, arugula, ham, and cheese. So let's start making it. To start, we're going to start with some mayo. And if you want, if you are, if you like sweet stuff, you can switch this sandwich into a sweet sandwich and use peanut butter and then add honey and bananas and fruit but I'm hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna do a great regular sandwich. So, after I put the mayo on, I'm gonna put cheese. Make sure most of the cheese fits in there, so I'm not gonna use this big slice. I'm just gonna kinda tear it into pieces. So yeah, there we go. Then, then we're just gonna flip it forward. Then I just add a little bit more mayo, not a lot this time. I'm gonna add some ham. I prefer ham on my sandwiches, but turkey, salami, pepperoni. Any of that works. And then you're just gonna fold it again. And now we're gonna cut up our tomato. And again, just be careful with the knife. But for anything in the sandwich, you can totally replace it with vegetables or meats or cheeses that you like. And then we're going to add some arugula, which is my favorite. And then one last fold. And voila, you have a quadruple layer sandwich. You can toast it if you want, but since I already put vegetables in mine, I'm not going to toast it this time. Hope you enjoy it. Wanting to escape the crazy mess of life, all it takes is a bite of Hershey's chocolate nugget with extra creamy milk chocolate, extra toffee and hand-picked almonds. Almonds. Picked by the finest chocolatiers in the world. The finest chocolate in the world. Treat yourself to a Hershey's chocolate nugget. Thank you for watching. Now, back to the program. To continue our student shout out segment, here are a few more students nominated by their teachers. Congratulations to the following students. From Mr. Starkey, Juliet Sarazin, Caitlin Hertel, Kara Bishop, and Liliana Hewton for their thirst of knowledge in computer science. From Ms. Clark, Emily Williams, Emmett Washburn, Colin Edwards, and Jacob Reynolds Skolyak for jumping into a new math class and having such a great start. 
from Miss Moser, Kevin Lomir, for joining a new school in December and being so well organized and self accountable. From Miss Everdeen, Nate Creedon, for being a lifesaver with technology. He has made a huge difference with his peers and Miss Everdeen. From Miss Allen to all of her students who gave it their all during map testing, specifically Zira, Zira Barnes and Anthony Vargas, who struggled with technology issues yet made great progress. To continue our teacher story time, here's Miss Austin. Hello there. This is Miss Austin and the 12 Pets of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, Santa gave to me a sleepy little puppy. On the second day of Christmas, Santa gave to me two fluffy cats and a sleepy little puppy. On the third day of Christmas, Santa gave to me three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats and a sleepy little puppy. On the fourth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the fifth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me five spotted pigs, four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the sixth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me six kittens snuggling, five spotted pigs, four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the seventh day of Christmas, Santa gave to me Seven pugs a playing, six six kittens snuggling, five spotted pigs, four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the eighth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me eight hedgehogs hiding, seven pugs a playing, six kittens snuggling. Five spotted pigs, four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the ninth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me nine bunnies hopping, eight hedgehogs hiding, seven pugs a playing, six kittens snuggling, five spotted pigs. Four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the tenth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me ten tiny dachshunds, nine bunnies hopping, eight hedgehogs hiding, seven pugs a playing, six kittens snuggling, five spotted pigs, four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats and a sleepy little puppy. On the 11th day of Christmas, Santa gave to me 11 poodles dancing, 10 tiny dachshunds, 9 bunnies hopping, 8 hedgehogs hiding, 7 pugs a playing, 6 kittens snuggling, 5 spotted pigs, 4 singing birds, 3 squirmy hamsters, 2 fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. On the twelfth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me twelve bulldogs cuddling, eleven poodles dancing, ten tiny dachshunds, nine bunnies hopping, eight hedgehogs hiding, seven pugs a-playing, six kittens snuggling, five spotted pigs, four singing birds, three squirmy hamsters, two fluffy cats, and a sleepy little puppy. Thanks everyone for joining me. I hope you had great holidays and I hope you guys have a great new year. On Thursday, January 21st, Dunstan will be doing its first ever school-wide remote assembly. Guest speaker Nick Thompson 
will be speaking to our entire school about important social emotional issues as a way to support the mental health of our students. The assembly will be during fifth period, so go to your regular fifth period Zoom or Google Meet as planned, and your teacher will take attendance and get you into the assembly from there. Reach out to Ms. Garcia if you have any questions. Hi everyone, Mr. Starkey here with another message uh, about the yearbook. This year we have a couple pages for a new category called Most Likely To. Um, shortly after PTV, all of your advised teachers have been given a Google form of all the different categories. I just want to take a quick moment and explain the expectations um, and what we're looking for with the Google form. All right. Just really quickly going through this, I have the directions there, but just to kind of walk you through, there's only one required question and it's what your what is your grade level? We obviously want to know where these nominations are coming from, so please make sure you check this. The rest of the questions are not required, so if you can't think of anyone in that particular category, you can skip it. We're also asking for first and last name. Obviously, we want to know uh, specifics because um, there's numerous repeated names throughout the building. So please make sure you put first and last name. Also, this can be within um, any student within your grade level. It does not need to be cohort specific. So if you've got someone that you know of in another cohort within your grade level, nominate them. Same thing for remote. If you know someone that's in your grade level but in re but remote, then nominate them, okay? Um, but Take your time, go through these, try to find someone in, that fits uh, most of these categories. Please don't nominate yourself. Obviously, if you have friends who feel like you fit the bill, then they can nominate you, but try to think of other people that fit these categories, okay? Um, especially for eighth graders, those of you who have been in the building and with your classmates for the better part of three years, you have a little bit of an advantage, so try to think of people that you've kind of grown to know over the last few years in Dunstan that fit these categories. So take your time, submit it when you're done. If you have any questions, please um, send, uh, shoot me an email. We will be picking a girl and boy from for all these categories. And like I said in the direction, the most commonly voted name in each category will be the winner. But take your time with this and please get those nominations in. Thank you, everybody. And now here's Kira with the weather. Hello Dunstan Patriots and welcome to the weather with Kira. On Monday, it will be a high, there will be a high of 36 degrees and a low of 23 degrees with 45% chance of precipitation. On Tuesday, there will be a high of 35 degrees and a low of 24 degrees with a 25% of precipitation. On Wednesday, there will be a high of 52 degrees, which will be the warmest this week, and a low of 29 degrees, with no, no chance of precipitation. On Thursday, there will be a high of 45 degrees and a low of 25 degrees, with a 0% chance of precipitation. On Friday, the last day of the school week, there will be a 41 degree high and a 26 degree low with a 15 percent chance of precipitation have a great week dunstan patriots thanks for watching have a wonderful week dunstan patriots